Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interest. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, three or 6 p.m. Central Time, any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our signature points club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. Welcome back, everybody, to the Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room, coming to you live from Burridge, Illinois, just outside of Chicago, Illinois. I'm your host, Robbie Headliner Lopez. Welcome back to the 3 o'clock show. We had a fantastic 12 o'clock show. Just to go over some of the helmets that we hit in that 12 o'clock show was the triple sign Nebraska coming out of that college that is no longer in the break room no more. And we've also got the old school Roger Staubach on the suspension lid. This is the old school lid. These are phenomenal lids that we've got for you guys in the 12 o'clock hour. Let's see what we could do in the 3 o'clock hour. Let's see if we could top this off. Daniel Farrell is my producer today. Brandon Combs has the day off because it is his birthday weekend. So go out there and wish Brandon Combs a happy birthday from all of us here and probably from all of you guys over there too. Um, we also got a black and blue uh, single box pre-fill for you folks coming up here shortly. Yep. So let's take a seat now. I had to stand up for a while because of sitting for... You know, a couple hours, your legs kind of kind of fall apart. They do. So, with that being said, let's head over to the break screen and turn on the randomizer. We are looking for a brand new dice row for this hour. Last hour was seven. Let's see what we could do for the three o'clock show. One up. We'll take it from seven to eight. So eight is our dice roll for today. Let's head over to the Chase Wheel Spin. For those that are new to the break room, everybody, this is the Chase Wheel Spin. This is every break except for college is no longer with us. And that is going to be our black and blue mixer. So now we've got baseball bats, practice squad, football jerseys, the black and blue mixer, the mini helmets, the one and four, and the diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven breaks available in our break room. Whatever this lands on is going to determine how many times you're going to want to get into that break. We'll take a list of those names, put it into the separate list, and towards the end of the show, we'll take that list of everybody that bought into that break, put you guys in the randomizer, randomize that list eight times. After eight, top spot heads over to the Chase Wheel Spin, where they can win a gift card, courtesy of us here at the UA Break Room, 
upwards to a hundred dollars if we kind of struggle with a break maybe we t uh, sometimes double the bonus wheel spin sometimes, sometimes when we're really struggling to kind of close a break series and we're like you know what let's double that chase wheel spin so who knows it all up to you guys you guys are the drivers of the show so whatever you guys are want to get into Let's see what the chase wheel spin is going to be for this 3 o'clock hour. It will change. What a great, great chase this is going to be. The black and blue. So those people that got into this black and blue, you will be put into that chase wheel spin. So people like Gisela, Justin, Michael, Marcus, Reggie, William, Adam, and Jeremiah, you guys are the first contestants of the chase wheel spin. So let's take that randomizer off and let's go to our dice. It is eight. And our chase is no longer the football jerseys. It is going to be the black and blue series. There you guys go. All right. So. Without further ado, let's get the show started with this black and blue single box break number one. Oops, I thought I was on it. <laughs> there we go. I had it already pre-written yeah, out already. Great. All I had to do is hit enter. That's smart. Um, so looking for Gisela, Justin, Michael, Marcus, Reggie, William, Adam, and Jeremiah. Drop me a box number. Adam's coming in with box six in the black and blue. Where is he in it? So six is them. off the ticker, one through five, and then seven through nine. That ticker is now officially updated. Number six. Number six. Ron James box. And uh, Daniel's getting that box. I'll go ahead and throw your guys' names into the randomizer. Again, here is the list of those names. Gisela, Justin, Michael, Marcus, Reggie, William, Adam, and Jeremiah. Instead of seven, we're going eight times this time. So here we go. Good luck, everybody, on your divisions. Here we go. There's five, six, seven, and one more to go. Here's eight. We got Marcus Tabbert at the top. Adam Hoffman down below. And everybody else is in between. Let's reveal your divisions, folks. The black and blue break number one. The NFC North is Marcus Tabbert. The NFC South is Jeremiah Greco. The NFC East, we've got Reggie. <clears throat> and the NFC West, we've got Justin. AFC North, Gisela Luster. The AFC South, Michael. And we got the AFC East going to William Maynard. And running it off in the AFC West, Adam Hoffman. Good luck, everybody. We've got box number six, courtesy of Adam Hoffman himself. Let's see if we can get him a little box collar magic for him. Box six. Good luck, everybody, in the black and blue. I'll be honest with you. I kind of feel light. Light box means... Light helmet, like the rep. What kind of rep do we have in this bag? Let's find out. Ooh, running back for your Los Angeles Rams. But you're going to get him on the Notre Dame Irish, Karen Williams. When he was with the Notre Dame Irish... Kieran Williams. Kyron. Kyron Williams. See the Y gets you mixed gets me mixed yeah, up. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. Kyron, Kieran. Kieran Williams <clears throat> is going to be the winner. Or uh, the winner. NFC West is the hit. Justin is going to be the winner of Mr. Kieran Williams. Way to go, Justin. 
Don't know if you're a Notre Dame fan, but if you're out there, what's the issue? That's a very good question because I don't know what's the issue with yeah, this. Some, uh, we pull this stuff out, we forget it's the black and blue. You know, like... I, yeah. Take a look at it if you could, though. Uh, I guess the... The... All, I mean, it's a rep, the so... Clover, the clovers are kind of... I don't know. Center, Is it? I guess. The, the, maybe the... the no, because it matches, it matches the other side. Huh? Yeah, the clovers match the other side. Oh, there it is, right here. So right on the non-autograph side, there's like a little mark right here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a little mark right here. Uh, David could confirm uh, with me. You see it, uh, Daniel? Uh, one sec. Where's it? Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah okay. just a little mark right above the clover is that's pretty much the only thing that's with uh that's what's uh well yeah that's what's wrong with it it's a beckett cert on the back it is the rep but that is only issue with it is just a little mark uh yeah you can see it right there on camera right there so again the black and blues are just minor imperfections that is the only thing that's wrong with these helmets other than that, they're still incredible helmets. We've had one that was a Denver Broncos, John Elway, old school lid. The with the you know the Denver Bronco, the D. The D. The D. Yeah. Me and Brandon, it took us practically all show to convince the viewers that there was not there was nothing wrong with it. We could not understand what was going on with that. No, I mean that's why I'm saying like there just comes a point where when you're you're going through these black and blues <clears throat> that it just doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it no. at all, you know? Minor scratches here and there, but nothing on the auto nope. side. I, um, I think I pulled one helmet that had just a little smudge on the edge of the autograph. Yeah. But that was it. That's what I think I pulled one, or I, would, I was producing where I saw one that was like that, but they're very, very rare around here. Most of the stuff is pretty ticky tack like oh yeah you won't find anything missing there. earpiece which we've uh searched online on ebay cost 12 bucks for a package of earpieces. air pieces uh other times was um it had the old school beckett and it didn't have the beckett cert so we had to throw that in as a, a black and blue because it should have had the card with it but because it didn't have it it still was a terrific... There was nothing wrong with the helmet. Yeah. Nothing wrong with the helmet. Only thing is that it had the old school cert of the Beckett, but it didn't have the actual cert card. Okay. I mean, that's... I mean, for the price, too? For the price. And you're getting amazing helmets like this. <clears throat> so Justin's coming in saying, not a huge fan of college, but I'll take it in case anyone wants to trade. I'll be sticking around to watch. There you go. Oh, then we have, double, we have a black and blue double coming up. Next. Now we got that black and blue double box break number one coming up. Awesome. Uh, so let me go ahead and let's go put these back in. Since we could take these off the... Yeah, because these were from the 12 o'clock show. Oh, I thought you wanted to keep them out. Oh, I, I opened the show with them, and then I just put them back in there, oh, in the bags. I can, so. get I can install that. Yeah. There you go, sir. Thank you. All right, folks. Here we go. In the, that black and blue... Double box break number one. Looks like we've got Marcus Tabbert, Jeremiah Greco, Alfie, and, excuse me, Alfie Zazias, and Craig Kernshaw, Shiloh Perrine, and Omar Ramirez, Craig Joseph, and Marcus Tabbert. Craig Joseph, you have jumped the gun. You ought to know 
gotta know what's the, you know, what's going oh, on here. So, I don't know. two box numbers. Minus Craig Joseph's numbers, because his is don't qualify yet. I don't think this fits a human's head, the stallback lid. I think you put it on like a mountain lion, uh -huh. or like a lynx, but I don't think you could ever put it on a human. For one. Uh, all right, there's that message. Now you guys can drop those box numbers. All right, there's Craig. I knew he was going to be quick. One and two. Or one. one and 12. One and 12 on that black and blue double box. So we got one and 12. Oops. All right, ticker is all up to date. Let's go grab your list of names. Head over to the randomizer. And let's begin randomizing your names eight times. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here comes that eighth and final dice roll. Jeremiah at the top. Marcus Tabert on the bottom. Everybody else in between. Let's head over to... The break page. Here we go. Black and blue double box break number one. Uh, Robert Myers saying, uh, what team you like? Jason Campbell saying, what's the imperfection on the farb in the black and blue? Have no idea, Jason, what the imperfection is until you guys get uh, reveal the box and I pull it out. That's when we'll find out together what that imperfection is all about. Uh, Justin saying, Dolphin fans, but I collect any names that I like. Chronic is uh, laughing, I believe. So yeah, is Chris uh, Joseph said, the imperfection is that there's a Favre autograph on it. Oh. That's funny. Oh! Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I was reading it like it was a question. <clears throat> All right. So... Black and blue double box break number one. The NFC North is Jeremiah Greco. The NFC South is going to Alfie. The NFC East is Craig Kernshaw. NFC West, Omar Ramirez. The AFC North, Marcus Tabbert. The AFC South, Shiloh Perrine. And the AFC East is going to Craig Joseph. The AFC West is Marcus Tabbert. Good luck, everybody. We've got boxes 1 and 12. We'll start with 12. There we go. Good luck, everybody. Black and blue. Every headliner out there is still available. Do we have ourselves a headliner? Oh. The, oh, yeah. Gotcha. I, I, Gotcha. Like, what? <laughs> Apparently they didn't put a card in there, so that's nice. That's funny. But yeah, yeah. but it's hilarious because there it is right there. What's going on here, bro? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But uh this is a headliner hit, this ladies and gentlemen. It fire. is our first headliner hit today. It's on a flash from your Pittsburgh Steelers. The bus himself, Jerome Bennis, on the Pittsburgh Steelers flash. There's the authentic Beckett. Oh, yeah. Now, let's find out together. There is a little blue mark, so sometimes they do indicate what's wrong with it. And on here is just a little bitty small mark right here. I think I could, if I tilt it this way, there you go. See that little mark right there? That's the only thing. Obviously, it's on the non-auto, so you really won't have to worry about uh, letting people know about this helmet being damaged or whatnot because when you display it, tell me that's not a very beautiful signature to display and a gorgeous lid for an authentic. Hey, it's going to the AFC North. Marcus Tabert, congratulations, sir, on... Mr. Jerome Bennis. Yeah, Jerome Bennis. Go player. The bus. It said the bus on like this little it, this little uh on, on one of the pads that we use. Uh it said the bus. And I was like, oh that's 
Jerome Bettis. Then there was a card in there too. It said Jerome Bettis. So that was just, that's what we were laughing about earlier. But regardless, Bettis top fifteen rushing yards of all time, multi-time All Pro with both the Rams and the Steelers, multi-time Pro Bowler as well with those teams. Uh, the bus was hard to take down. Big number thirty six was not only uh, a goal line back. Uh, you would know by his name, but he's also had a lot of speed in the open field, ran over Brian Urlacher. He was a great player, man, no doubt about it. No doubt about it, exactly. Look at that. I mean, just to have a small mark right there, you could, there you go, you could definitely see it now right there. Just that little bitty mark. I'm also looking for that Joe Thomas, he says. I'm also looking for Joe Thomas. Yep. It's a chrome flex offensive lineman that's lit. Woo-hoo. But he's like the best offensive lineman of all time. Can't wait to see what's wrong with that one, too. Yeah. Oh, if we pull it. I bet, I guarantee it's a chrome flex on, with an offensive lineman, and there's nothing wrong with it, and it's only in the black and blue because it wouldn't be a headliner anywhere else. Huh. I guarantee it. I probably. It. I guarantee it. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, but yeah, Jerome Bettis, guys. Uh, I actually never seen Bettis play a game on St. Or I guess it would be Los Angeles. Um, I'd have to see something. I'd have to watch some games. With him yeah, in Los I don't Angeles. think I. No, not to my recollection. I don't, that I don't, was before he went to Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. forget. Yep. Here we go. We got box one. Box one. Uh, this way, uh, the numbers were what? Who called the numbers? Uh, uh, Joseph did, Craig. Craig Joseph, that's right. Craig Joseph. He jumped the gun. Then he redeemed himself. Yep. So, Marcus, you want to go ahead and thank Craig Joseph for calling that box number for you? That ain't going to happen. Okay. Because we go chat, that ain't going to happen. Want to trade the Bennis for my Notre Dame? Ooh. That's a, that's, a, that's a full tragedy. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, he's a big Irish fan. They could do it. Man. Tell about who you trade to. Tell really? Them. I would like to know why this guy is it. Is that a Huh? Is that a No. It's a hidden gem. Check this out. Whoa. On the Trojans. Juju Smith Juster. Whoa, what, uh, Pittsburgh, probably, probably AFC North. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an AFC Might North. Might be a double up. It is a double up. Let's go. Let me double check up just Marcus. Way to go, Marcus. Check this out. Chrome yeah. rep. And uh, I'm looking for, yeah. okay, so the signature. See how oh, the signature a is a little smudged? It's a little cracked. So, yeah, you can see on the signature there's like little skip marks. Across the Jays. But other than that, hey, you got yourself one hell of a lid on the Trojans Chrome. Dude, that's so the the USC Trojans have the nicest apparel wow. in college football, except for maybe Oregon. Oregon and USC have the nicest apparel in college football, in my opinion. They have the nicest helmets for sure. Um, look at that flash rep. Yeah. Man, Juju Smith-Schuster is a great player. He, well, you know what? I don't want to call him a great player, but he's a really good player. And I know that once he gets back to his form, I don't know when that's going to be, but when he gets back to his form uh, and when he plays his best game, he, he's a dangerous man on the field. Uh, hopefully we can see it, uh, that version of Juju that was in uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Okay. Actually, where is he at now? Is he still... I know he was He's in Kansas the, City, but then he got traded somewhere... New England. No, Okay, New England, yeah. New England. Uh, I was thinking Oregon as you were saying that, LOL. Yeah, Oregon and USC are the two nicest, I think. He's on, He was on the Chiefs, Craig. He was on the Chiefs. Oh, so oh, actually, New, you know, current team... Oh, yeah, he's you're on right. New England. I'm tripping. So, you're right. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. New he's England. on New England. So that won't be... It'll be the East. You're right. He's on New England. What am I doing? I think he's retired. I thought so, too. You're right. I'm tripping. So, that's going to be a Craig Joseph's hit. I'm so... Craig, good job. Good call. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. I. Yeah, let's... You know what? Let me make sure of this real quick, though. 
Sorry about that. Long day. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, he is with the current he's, team, New England. He's on New England. All right, yep. it'll go to the, the AFC East. We're sorry about that. Yep. Yes. It is not a double up. Nope. No, Schuster. So Craig Joseph will be taking that home, not Marcus. Glad I didn't write that up. Yeah, so Craig good, good, good way to, yeah, we caught ourselves. Sorry about that. Yeah, we do that for retirees. Excuse me. So, he's still playing. Not too well, though. I hope. I thought he got cut, at, or he got uh, yeah, I cut thought, after. I thought he had gotten cut, but let's see. Oh, he's, he's, he's on New England. Yeah, uh, he's on New yeah, England. Yeah, he's on New England. Yeah, he didn't get cut. You know, he's one of those guys that bounces around the league a lot now, so I wasn't exactly sure. But New England. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Well, that is going to do it in the black and blue. Yeah. Go ahead and put this away. And we're going to go and do a top to bottom rundown. And we'll find out together what is still out there for you folks to get into. Especially this black and blue series. It's hot. This uh, chase wheel spin for everybody that gets into the black and blue series. So, those that got into this double box, you'll get added twice to that chase wheel spin. And those that get into the single will obviously get their names put in once. All right. Heading over to our break page. Let me do a quick refresh of the break page. And here we go. All right, folks. This is our break page. Our live break page, I'll head over and copy this, put that into the break uh, community chat. So if you're looking to get to the break page, all you have to do is do hit that link. It'll take you directly to what you see on your screen right now. Everything that I'm about to highlight is everybody that is that plays with us. And for those that are new to the UA break room, this highlights everything that goes over when we go on live every single day, 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, how you can watch us on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, all at uh, Ultimate Autographs. And then on the rules and guidelines, please be careful to read this carefully. It explains everything from a tie to a human mistake, a computer mistake, or anything that needs to be explained that be sure to read over that. That's the most important part that we highly into, uh, highly suggest people to read. So that way there's no confusion or no uh, misunderstandings. It's, everything is explained in the rules and guidelines. There's a short video for you folks to watch if you would like to uh, listen and watch what our break room is all about. As you scroll down, these are the breaks that we offer to you folks every single day, 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Starting with that double box break in the black and blue. Five spots to go. 118 is the price for a spot. We are looking for headliners like the Justin Jefferson Speedflex Hydro, that is. And there's that Joe Thomas. He's also a Speedflex. I believe those are the only two Speedflexes that... Oh, I'm sorry. We have a... Oh, Brent Favre is a Speedflex, too. So that's three speed flexes in this black and blue series. And I have no idea what is wrong with these unless you guys get to the break page, get into the black and blues, and we start busting boxes one by one until we reveal what is going on with these helmets itself. Because I, I, I'm, like you said, Daniel, that Joe Thomas, it's got to be nothing wrong with it other than that it's an offensive lineman who may what not be a, high, a, a headliner. In the diamonds or and something. And 
you're getting a fantastic helmet. I would say. I mean, one, it's a speed flex, so the value of these speed flexes are anywhere from 600 and up. Chrome, chrome, chrome flex. flexes chrome too. Flexes. So this is not only a speed flex, but this is a chrome speed flex, and it's Joe Thomas. Yes, what, what, arguably the best offensive lineman of all time. Yes. Yes. Uh, Brian Dawkins is going to be a rep. Adrian Peterson is a authentic, and Barry Sanders is a authentic. Authentic, yes. All right. We did take out Jerome Bennis. He is no longer in that series no more because he just got revealed. Uh, Brett Favre still wondering what he's uh what's wrong with him. Try to rekill Bo Jackson. There's the J.J. Watt amp, Nick Bosa, LaDamia Tomlinson, Deion Sanders, Roger Stahlbeck, and Aiden Hutchinson. Also, we also have secondary headliner hits like hmm, D.K. Metcalf, Sterling Sharp, and Tony Dorsett. When you get a chance, so you know, our last practice squad single sold out. Just want to let you know. Awesome. Coming up next is that practice squad single box. All right. And then not to mention the hidden gems, the and more section. If a double box is not what is a little bit out of your price range, we also have this as a single box right here for $59. And that is six spots to go now. So we are going to end it right there. We'll be right back. With that top to bottom, like I said, we do have a practice squad break. And we've got Jeremiah, Chris Abermans, Chris Ripka, and Michael Bennett in this practice squad. Gentlemen, go ahead and drop me a box number once you see the message. Anything before that will be invalid. Practice squad break. Number one. There you go, folks. Drop me a box number. Jeremiah, Chris, Chris, and Michael. And Chris Bennett's coming in with box 34. Box 34. Box 34 in the practice squad. Ooh. Now we are officially two boxes to go in that practice squad with box 2 and 37 left. Last doubles up. Let's get that last double. Let's knock out the practice squad, and that will be it for the practice squad. Box number 34, courtesy of Michael Bennett. And here again is that list Jeremiah, Chris Aberman to Chris Ripka, and Michael Bennett. Eight times on that randomizer. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Here's the Chris. Here's that Craig Ker uh was it Craig Kershaw or Craig Kershaw? Uh Craig Joseph that was had the theory about the randomizer. No, it's gotta be six people. Oh, six? It's gotta okay. be six. I was gonna say this is eight, so we're gonna see if this well, was. Let's true. get a let's get a baseball done so we can we can test that theory out. Yes. Seven, and here comes that final eighth Excuse dice me. roll. We got Michael Bennett at the top and Michael Bennett at the bottom. Here we go. Let's see. Where everybody else is at in this practice squad break number one. The NFC North, we've got Michael Bennett. The NFC South is Jeremiah Greco. The NFC East is Chris Abermans. And the NFC, or I'm sorry, the, yeah, the NFC West is Chris Ripka. And then round it out, the whole entire AFC conference is Michael Bennett taking the AFC North down to the AFC West. So, here we go. Box 34, Michael Bennett. Let's see if there's a little box collar magic for you. Or is anybody other than yourself getting sniped? Uh, Robert Clark is saying what is left in the bats. Uh, I'll tell you what. Every headliner in that bat category is still out there. Aaron Judge, Ronald Acuna, Ailey Rutschman, Fernando Tatis, Jordan Alvarez, Julio Rodriguez, Barry Larkin, Derry, uh, Deion Sanders, and Vlad Jr. Not to mention the two secondary headliners in Torrey Hunter and Eric Gagne is still out there. All right, here we go, folks. What 
we got in box 34 of the practice squad. It is a authentic helmet. I didn't see no indicator of this being a headliner. And it's not a headliner. It's the running back journeyman for your San Francisco 49ers, Mr. Frank Gore, on the salute to service. Means two headliners left in the last two boxes. Beckett Sert on the back. Authentic on the inside. Frank Gore. Wow. That means Joe Montana on the authentic is out there. And our secondary headliner, Rondé Barber. I believe he may be authentic. I don't know. There's no indicator yeah, on yeah, the... Yeah, we don't know that one. So... It'll be interesting to see what Mr. Rondé Barber is on. So, NFC West hit Chris Ripka. Congratulations on Frank Gore. Salute to service authentic. Frank Gore. Frank Gore, of course, uh, just an absolute dream. It's 16,000 career NFL rushing yards, third all time in NFL history. Uh, just an Iron Man when it came to the sport. And then he did the smartest thing anyone could do after playing the game of football. I uh, went into boxing, yep. uh, which is genius. And um, I got knocked out pretty good, though. But as a football player, one of the best I've ever seen at the position. Great player. Absolute Iron Man. Shout out. Salute to service. There's their yep. ones. Yep. Woodland salute to service. Pretty, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and put Mr. Frank Gore away. And we'll go back to that top to bottom rundown where we left off at. Since someone asked about the bats, I believe that's where we're going to go up to next. I want to let you know, though, we're probably going to get some pretty some guys pretty quickly in that practice squad though. Just want to let you know. Okay. Well, while they're doing that, we'll go ahead and do the brand, uh, the rundown, and then once that's filled, we'll go ahead and end it, and then, uh, yeah. Justin says, need people in that double diamond. I, uh, hey, I agree, Justin. Anybody want to help out Justin in filling up that double diamond? Get to the break page. Fill out those spots. NFC North is looming large there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The AFC, NFC North. Why are you... And the Diamonds? The Diamonds? Oh, Randy Moss. Moss. That's right, yeah. AP and Moss. Yeah, AP Ooh, Moss. that'd be great. Yep. Jared Goff. And Jared Goff. Yep, those mm. are the ones. Jordy Nelson as well. Oh, I forgot. Jordy Nelson secondary. down there in the secondary. Uh, who won that double practice squad? Uh, uh oh, I think it's it. That's it. Michael Bennett closed out the, double, the practice squad double. Jeffrey yeah. Greco, that's coming up next. Yep, that's it. The double practice squad, that is coming up next. Nobody won anything yet. That is coming up next. Yep, that's it. Sold out. Okay. All right, we are sold out in that double box practice squad. I don't need numbers because they are the last two boxes of the practice squad. You got it or? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'll get cool. it. Right, yeah. cool. I'll set it up. Oh, my bad. I didn't see that there. This practice squad double gone. Thank you, so Rob. 37 in box two. All right. Just waiting on that list. You good with it? Yeah. Ugh. All right. How's where are we at? Here we go. Here's that list. All right. Looks like we got Chris Ripka, Craig Curtinshaw, Craig Joseph, and Michael Bennett. 
in this last practice squad double box. All right, here's that list again. Chris Ripka, Craig Kernshaw, Craig Joseph, and Michael Bennett. Eight times? Um, oh, he meant on the... Oh, okay, in the black and blue, uh, we've got Brett Favre on the Speed Flex. Jefferson on the speed flex, Tyreek authentic, Nick Bosa authentic, Bo Jackson authentic, Barry Sanders authentic. We've got a JJ Watt authentic, the law, um, LaDamian Tomlinson on the rep, uh, Adrian Peterson authentic, the Roger Stahlbeck rep, Aiden Hutchinson authentic, the Deion Sanders rep, Joe Thomas speed flex, and Brian Dawkins rep. Rep. We also got some secondary headers like DK Metcalf rep, the Sterling Sharp rep, and Tony Dorsett authentic. That is what's left Jeffrey Greco in the black and blue. Eight times. Here we go. Let's start the randomizer for these divisions. And seven, eight. Michael Bennett and Chris Ripka at the bottom. If you've been paying attention to this practice squad, you know that the last two headliners are Joe Montana and Rondé Barber. So we know Joe Montana could be either on a Kansas City Chiefs. I believe that's what it was. Joe Montana on the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, it was. And Rondé Barber will be an Rondé NFC Barber. South on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, here we go. There's those people in their divisions for the practice squad double box break number one. NFC North, Michael Bennett. You also have the NFC South. So, there you go. You have probably Rondé Barber. Chris Ripka, the NFC East. Craig Joseph has the NFC West. The AFC North, Michael Bennett. The AFC South, Chris Ripka. The AFC East is Craig Kershaw. And the AFC West is Chris Ripka, who has been on fire. Correct? That's right, Craig. He has been on fire. We'll take the Joe Montana Authentic. Box two. This one, I'll be honest with you, feels a little bit heavy. So here may be the Joe Montana Authentic. Yeah, headliner. Oh, headliner. There's only headliners remaining. <laughs> <laughs> headliner means there's fire in the room. Is it the guy? It is the guy. It's, it's the, guy. the guy. The left. No. Right. Righty. Young's left. Young is lefty. But yes, righty. Joe Montana so on cool. the Kansas City. Authentic. There's the Beckett cert right there, sir. There Authentic go. in the middle. Way to go, Chris Ripka in the AFC West. Okay. All right. Let's yeah. go ahead and move Mr. Montana out of the way. And let's see. We've got box 37. No, it's Rondé Barber. What is it? Um, it's going to be on a jersey. Hey, look at another Bucks guy. Another Buccaneer. Yeah. Got another Buccaneer. Oh, it's, uh, NFC South hit Michael Bennett. Congratulations on the Rondé Barber custom jersey. And that's the practice squad, folks. Custom stat jersey. Rondé Ooh, Barber, okay. 1,251 career tackles, 28 career sacks. He's got 47 career interceptions, 14 career touchdowns. The Super Bowl 37 champion and Hall of Fame 2023, Rondé Barber. Way to go, Michael. And way to go, Chris Ripka, to close out the practice squad. Two amazing hits. And two headliners.
Michael Bunn is saying thank you. Very nice. Thanks, Craig Joseph is saying, damn, Ripka, you've been on fire. And that's where we left off in our comments. Man, we pulled just about every Bucks player. Every good yes. Bucks player from that team. Yep. I know. Even Dexter Jackson. Dexter Jackson, John Lynch, oh. um, Simeon Rice, Simeon Mike Allstott. Rondon Barber. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Who, who else could be next? Uh, I guess we would have to then go into, like... Warren Sapp? Warren Sapp, yeah. Would have to be next. Yeah. <laughs> that would be wild. Oh. <laughs> I mean... Let's check the black and blue. Let's just, check it. However, though, we do have a baseball bat coming up. Baseball bat and, coming up? All right. And keep an eye, everybody, on the last person that gets randomized in the list. I want to see... What happens to that person if Craig, if Craig's theory theory is correct, his hypothesis, his 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 thought? <laughs> yes, we gotta test this out. Yeah, and I gotta make sure if, if Mister Craig is right, and then Chris Ripka. Ba -ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. One seven eight five thirty. And then after that baseball bat, we do have a what do you call it coming up? A uh, black and blue single. Nice black and blue single. It's the chase wheel spin. I'm telling you, that's gonna be a hot series. So many good lids in that series still. Joe Montana will keep out. You know, it's, sure. it's Joe. And it's authentic. And it's a headliner, so. Alright, folks, we've got baseball bats, double box break number one. Looks like we've got Kyle Hummel, Dustin Rose, Chris Altieri, Robert Clark, and Reggie. Wait for my message, then go ahead and drop me those two box numbers. Four. Baseball bats, double box break number one. All right, there you go, folks. There is that message. Go ahead and drop me a box, two box numbers for this baseball bats. Reggie's coming in with 11. Any other number, Reggie? And Chris Altieri with 13. All right. So we've got, uh, so we got 10 and then 12 and then 14 through 23 in the baseball bats. So 11 and 13, and those numbers are up to date in the baseball. Was eight called? In the baseball? Yeah. I don't know. Can you check for me? Uh, sure. Because you, you guys did do one already, right? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure if that was called already. It's called. It was called? Yeah. Okay. All right. So the ticker is up to date. So it says, Chris Ripka saying, thanks, guys. Love that lid. Hey, no problem, Chris. That's a beautiful lid. Beautiful lid. Joe Montana on the Kansas City Chiefs. All right. Tickers up to date. Let's get your names put into the random. Randomize this list eight times. Here we go. Here's that list again. The Kyle, Dustin, Chris, Robert, and Reggie. Eight times. Let's see if Reggie's name is going to stay at the bottom after eight times. After eight times. After eight times. That's that's Craig's theory. Craig's theory is that if you're the last person after all uh, after all the randomizations, that same person is going to be at the bottom. So let's see. We're going to see. Here we go. Eight times. He is, he is. 
four, five, six, seven. And here comes that final dice row. Eight. Oh, we got Robert Clark on the bottom, so Okay. I I don't I don't know. I think uh, uh Craig's Craig's theory is a little uh a little off. <laughs> All right, here are those list of names for the baseball bats. We got the AL East going to Kyle Hummel. You also have the AL Central. Dustin Rose has the AL West. Chris Altieri's got the NL East. Reggie's got the NL Central. And Robert Clark is taking the NL West. All right, folks. Uh, box, uh, here we go. 11. Box 11. And box 13. Let's go with box. Eleven. Ooh, wow, this guy's not even a headliner. Going to your Philadelphia Phillies. We've got Chris Altieri in the NL East taking home Ryan Howard Ryan of Howard. your Philadelphia Phillies. That's a filler hit. That's crazy. That's a that's a hidden gem hit. It is. I mean, Ryan Howard. What a career this guy had. Uh, GSA cert. Uh, it comes with the GSA cert card. I believe that's a GSA. Yeah, GSA cert. There's the cert card. Ryan Howard. Wow. Chris Altieri with that NL East hit. Let's go ahead and write up Chris Altieri really quick, and then we'll go ahead and open up the second box. Is Chris out there? Chris is saying, Acuna, please. Nice. No Acuna, but I'll take it. Hey, that's not bad. Pit. That's Ryan not Howard? Bad. No, that's good, yeah. One of the premier. Ryan Howard had MVP. Himself, yeah, he had himself a great career. Especially with uh, with that team during the World Series run. Oh yeah. He'll know. He'll be known for his great first base plays. Uh, oh yeah, great. Yeah, good first base. Yeah, player. started off first base and then later on he came uh, the DH. Yeah. Oh no, no, I take that back. He, I don't think he played the DH because I think he retired at that t after that uh, before that time. Oh, yeah, yeah, Before definitely. they made that move, so I take that back. I thought he might have been in the AL. I don't know. Did he... I think he did move on to the AL. I forgot what team, though. No, he played for the Phillies Was his it? whole career. Okay. Yeah, good job. Here we go. Box 13. Uh... I believe this is going to be another AL, NL East hit. This guy. <laughs> Chris Altieri, unbelievable. New York Mets yeah. guy. Mr. Dwight Gooden. Dwight Gooden, the doc. With the 1984 NL Rookie of the Year inscription. Wow. What a great hit there, Chris Altieri, to double up in the NL East with the New York Met himself, Dwight Gooden. Okay, Dwight Gooden, great lights out pitcher in his first, uh, first five years of career. Had some struggle with some substance abuse issues when he was living in New York with Gerald Strawberry. I was just going to say. <laughs> and and uh, Keith Hernandez, but nobody can deny the fact that he is one of the most, at his Best was one of the most electric pitchers in the history of the MLB. Former Yankee. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna look up what good and stats. Just make go sure ahead. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. Because he may have played. He did play a lot of years with the Yankees. 
So I'm going to make sure that it is the Annalise, just to confirm. And yeah, I can confirm it is the Mets, Annalise, oh, yeah. double up. I mean, it, he, he's Mets all over them. His, his whole page is all Mets. <laughs> Doc. Yeah. Yeah, the Doc. That's a double up. Chris. Yeah. Coming in. There we go. What a good... And not the Ron Acuna you're looking for, but hey. Two incredible baseball bats from two incredible players yes, yes. that played during their career. Phenomenal hit. Way to go, du uh, Chris. Sitting in that NL East in that baseball, bo uh, baseball bats double box. Man. Going, going up. Dwight. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we've got our black and blue single box. In this single box, we've got Craig Kershaw, Shiloh Perrine, and Marcus Tabbert to buy out six spots in that one. Uh, first win in forever, but the double up helps. I'll definitely take those two if I could hit Acuna. Oh, yeah. All right. Drop me. Hey. Oops. Box number four. Black and blue. Break number one. Oops, I'm sorry. Number two. This is number two. Oh, couldn't hit Acuna if I couldn't hit Acuna. So again, I'm looking for Craig Kershaw, Shiloh Perrine, and Marcus Tabber to call me out two boxes. Wait, uh... Is it Craig Kershaw or Craig Joseph supposed to be in this? Uh, no, 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 that's all good. Okay. No, uh, we... We knew the double. Okay, all right, black and blue double. All right. Why, what was it supposed to... The black and blue singles first. Yeah. Are you doing the black and blue single? Yeah. Oh, why do you say two numbers then? Oh my goodness. It's one one box number, one box number. Craig Joseph, you're not in this one. You're in this this is the single. This is a single. Oh, because I heard you say uh two coming up. Drop me a box. Didn't you say there was uh sing the, the double box closed out? Yeah, it was I, I, that's what I heard was I heard two. That's it. Uh, drop me a box number for black and blue. Break number two. All right, there you go. Those that in the single box. So Craig Kershaw, Shiloh, and Marcus. One box number. One box number. If not, we'll go to the wheel and let the wheel decide your box number for the single box, black and blue. Bum, 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 bum. Craig Kershaw, Shiloh Perrine, and Marcus Tabbert. Are you guys in the community chat? Go ahead and drop me two, or drop me a box number. I'm seeing the number two. That's why I'm saying two. <laughs> but drop me a box number four, break number two of the black and blue. There's Marcus, box two. Thank why you. Why won't you? All right. Thank you, Marcus. Box two in the black and blue is off the ticker. Oh, box. That is up to date. All right, let's go turn the randomizer on. Here is those list of names. Again, Craig, Shiloh, and Marcus. Eight times. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And here comes that eighth and final dice row. We got Marcus Tabbert at the top and Craig Kernshaw at the bottom. Everybody else... In between. Oh no. That. Oh. Yep. No. I did it. 
copy the list. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Now that list is correct. All right. Black and blue single box. Break number two. NFC North, Marcus. All the way down to the NFC West. The AFC North is Shiloh. The AFC South and the AFC East goes to Marcus. And then the AFC West is Craig Kernshaw. We got box number two, courtesy of Marcus. Let's see what we got. All right. got a headliner and in this headliner like you said it's a full-size rep so authentics and reps are headliners and this is a beauty of a headliner from your FSU mr. Dion Sanders prime time himself on the Florida State Ooh. rep on the inside. Gorgeous hit though. That is going to be a good, very good question because oh, he uh, has. I think it's, I think it's Atlanta. It's Atlanta? I'm pretty sure. I'll look it up right now. I'm pretty. We did this the other day. It's Atlanta. I'm pretty sure. I know. It's one of these. One of these. You know. I'm like. It is Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta? Atlanta by. Atlanta by seven games. Okay. It's Atlanta by seven games. Atlanta hit. That would be an NFC South. Yeah, Atlanta. We did this. Yeah, great. NFC yeah. South hit. Marcus Tapper taking home that Deion Sanders on the Fe uh, Florida State rep. Way to go, Marcus Tabbert. Deion Sanders. GSA cert card. There you go, sir. Also, the GSA on the back. Go ahead and put Mr. Dion back in the bag. Put back in the bag. Nice. Yeah. Not going to leave him out with Joe. Nah, we get a lot of Dion in here. We do get a lot of Dion, but Dion's score is cool. I like him on the Florida State the most. Yeah. Of any of them. Better Atlanta. I got him on Atlanta. You have on Atlanta? I got him on Atlanta Authentic with the inscription Prime Time. Nice. All right, Marcus Tabbert, let me go ahead and write you up, and then we'll go on to box number two. Yes. Double box break. Double box break number two is what is what I said. Is what I said. One seven eight and five three five. Dion Sanders. All right. On to black and blue double box break number two. We got Regimel, Robert, Chet Williams, and Craig Joseph, Jeremiah Greco, Zachary Wright. Wait for the message. I cannot stress you guys. You guys are a little bit early with your numbers. Wait for the message, then drop your message. All right. Drop me two box numbers this time. Four, black, and blue double box break number two. There you go. Now you can drop those box numbers for me. Marcus Tabber says he is open to trades. Have four prime times already. Craig Joseph with box 21 and 32. So, 21, 
20 on that one. 22, 25, and then 32. 21 and 32 off the ticker. Now that is up to date. Let's go ahead and grab your names. Head over to the rando. Get ready to randomize this list eight times for you folks. All right. Craig Joseph says, don't really want an FSU lid, but I am in Florida, so it's easy trade. It's, it's easy to trade, fodder. Good fodder. Good fodder. <laughs> good, good fodder. Craig Joseph says, Marcus, I have that Juju Chrome US lid. Any interest? Who knows? All right, here's that list of names again. Reggie, Robert, Chet, Craig, Jeremiah, and Zachary. Eight times. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here comes that eighth and final dice roll. We got... Jeremiah Greco at the top and Zachary Wright at the bottom. Everybody else in between. Let's plug you guys into your divisions. Here we go. In the black and blue double box number two. NFC North is Jeremiah Greco. The NFC South is Chet Williams. The NFC East is Jeremiah Greco. The NFC West, Zachary Wright. AFC North is Reggie. The AFC South is Robert. The AFC East is Craig Joseph. And rounded it out in the AFC West, Zachary Wright. Good luck, everybody. Here's our first box coming up in the black and blue. What is this? Box 32? 32. All right. Box 32 will be the first box we open up. What do we got? Inbox 32. Ooh. We got ourselves an authentic. We got ourselves a headliner. We got. Ooh, we've got Mr. Detroit himself. Defensive guy. Aiden Hutchinson oh, on awesome. your okay. Detroit Lions old oh, school yeah. lid. There's the Beckett authentic inside. Authentic. Old school Detroit Lions logo. Aiden Hutchinson, nice. the NFC North hit. Jeremiah Greco, way to go on your hit. Ooh. Best edge rushers in the game. All Michigan kid from Michigan went to Michigan now plays for Detroit. Yep. Great, great player, man. Could also drop back into coverage. Very athletic, still young, still fast. Not, you know, not kind of built so much to where he's only going to be an edge rusher. He can still go other places, man. He's so, so talented. Yeah, he's 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 one of those guys that can, like you said, can pull off the line and play that linebacker position yeah, if like they need to. Yeah, yeah right. like a hybrid position. Yeah, he's just incredible. He's just got. He's just very athletic. He's, I would say, the closest to Max Crosby in my opinion. He's kind of like he's a little bit thicker than him. Greedier. Greedier. <laughs> greedier. Like I just feel like he's just got that grit in him. Like he just. Oh, grittier. I like, think a greedier. Very grittier. Yeah, grittier. Like he just. He's got that like tenacity of just like that old school. Like I don't care who you are lining up. Across yeah, from me. Yeah, I'm going to, you know, run through you. Run through, exactly. And he's a great player, man. Hutchinson, that's a great lid. I, that's my favorite Detroit lid. Yeah, they the just products. came out with these old school uh, this past year, so it's pretty cool. It's really Jason? What? Awesome. What's that? Jason says, I hit that the other day while I was asleep. <laughs> Jeremiah, any interest in trading that? Well, no. It 
It's a great lid for up to debate to see who would want it. We're going to leave him out. Yeah, the red and the blue. All right, box two. This is what the Super Bowl should have been. That's what the Super Bowl, yeah, should have. This is what the Super Bowl should have been. All right, box 21, courtesy of Craig Joseph. Let's see if we can get Craig Joseph a win. He's been dying for a win all, all day. Let's get Craig Joseph a win. Let's show some love to Craig Joseph. Well, we don't have a headliner, so it could be a uh, hidden gem. Oh, definitely a hidden gem. Well, this running back is no longer with the team. They released him in mid-season. But when he was on this team, he was their running back on the New York Jets. Dalvin Cook, Dalvin Cook. on the Jets Flash. He's playing left. somewhere right now. I'll tell you right now. I don't know. more. Did he get picked up? He oh. did. I thought it was by... Baltimore? Baltimore, but I want to make sure. Yeah, he's Baltimore. Not so Baltimore. it is? AFC North, Baltimore. Well, we got to go by the. Oh, by this. That was so. this. He's on the Jets' current player. Dude, I'm having a tough, <laughs> having a tough day, man. That's true, because, yeah, it's not like. <laughs> look, the Jets are not a college team <laughs> anymore. <laughs> anymore. Uh, so go to AFC West or AFC East, like, hey, Craig Joseph, you finally got yourself a win, Craig Joseph. I'm just trying to look take away. that. I'm just trying to take away wins from Craig. <laughs> there you are. I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, Dalvin Cook's actually a very good player. Uh, when he was on Minnesota, he was really something. Uh, I don't. Know, I wonder what they're going to do with him to figure that out. Uh, because now that they have Henry and him, and they got Keaton Mitchell, who got hurt last year. I don't know if he's... He might, hopefully he didn't get released. And then they also have Edwards. What are they going to do out in Baltimore, man? It's going to be wild. It's going to be very wild. But regardless... Very, very wild. On the Jets' lid, short-lived career for Dalvin there, but yes. uh, still a very good player, no doubt about it. Yeah, definitely going to be used in in one of those packages for Har uh, for Harbaugh uh, if he managed to stay on the team uh, for Baltimore. Because like you said, they are loaded in the backfield. With the new inquire of Derrick Henry and all the other mentionable names that you thrown out there, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, can they use Dalvin Cook? You know, in certain packages. I hope so, because you're, you're missing out if you're not. And that's what happens with when you have overlook uh, or uh, overbooked on the running back. You get all these good quality running backs. And then, by the end of training camp, one of them's got to go. One you know, minute. someone's got to go. Because you got a salary cap. you got to keep it under a certain amount. So, you know, one of these guys are about to, you know, move oh, on to a different... different uh, a team that obviously could use a Delvin Cook or Gus Edwards. Which I think, I believe, I thought Gus got released. And, did he get released? And uh, went to... Uh, Tennessee. I believe I could be wrong. Los Angeles. Well, it was Los Angeles. Okay. But yeah, he's on Los. So, so now it's Dalvin, Keaton Mitchell, and yep. De and, and, and uh, Derrick Henry now. Let me yep. check about Keaton Mitchell real quick. He's on Baltimore. Okay. Yep. He was good. He's a speed back. He's out of Michigan. Michigan or Michigan State, one of the two. Oh, let me Michigan. check back in. All right, so that is going to do it for our black and blue double box break number two. Our two winners in the NFC North, Jeremiah Greco taking home the Aiden Hutchinson Authentic. And in the AFC East, Craig Joseph finally getting his win here today in the UA break room, taking home that Dalvin Cook rep. Reggie's coming in saying, 
Can you open my personal if nothing is sure. filled? Yeah, yes, yeah. we can. Let us know. Um, thank you. Thank you for getting the chat. That is the personal rep. Is a personal rep. Oh, so a number. Uh, numbers one through thirty. With the exception of 2, 11, 12, and 24. Reggie, those are the numbers available. 1 through 30 with the exception of 2, 11, 12, and 24. For your personal. Twenty-eight. Box 28. I'll we'll give you that. Let's take that off the ticker for the personals. Well, no, I'm going to go. And go Daniel's on his way to go get it because they're in the other room. So while he's getting that for you, for your personal, let's head over to the break page. We'll do a quick top to bottom rundown of what's available for you guys to get into. I'm going to do a quick refresh. And then I'm going to open up the randomizer. Here is the break page for the UA break room. Looks like we are four to go in that double box black and blue series this is the chase wheel spin so those that get into this black and blue series you'll be added to that chase wheel spin especially if you get in the double box you'll be added twice to that chase wheel spin for a gift card upwards to a hundred dollars in a gift card courtesy of us here right here in the ua break room we are six to go in the next Double box baseball bats. Five to go in that single one. Let's go back to the black and blue. Again, so these are the last or the remaining headliners left in the black and blue series. Again, these are imperfection helmets. They have a slight scratch or a slight mark or a sm uh, slight smudge mark on the signature sometimes it's just nothing wrong with the helmet that maybe it's just a missing piece on the inside which you can find on uh, eBay or Amazon for 12 bucks a lot of other times is uh, wrong Beckett uh, especially when it comes to the old-school Beckett they come with a cert card and sometimes the cert cards don't come with it so no. therefore we have to there's a 28 no 28 Reggie no 28. Any number except for those numbers that I called out. 2, 11, 12, 24. Now 28 is unavailable. So any number other than those five numbers that I just mentioned to you, Reggie, is available. So again, back to the imperfections. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, 17. 17. 17 for the personals. Daniel brought up a very good point for Joe Thomas because he's not very popular in the break room. He's not much of a headliner. Um, he's on a speed flex. He's on a chrome speed flex. And that's probably one of the reasons why he's here in the black and blue is because normally on a helmet like that, we would put him as a headliner and not a lot of times here in the break room do we have a lineman headliner like Joe Thomas. So that's why we thrown him, uh, threw him in the black and blue. I'm sure there's probably nothing wrong with Joe Thomas. I'm sure it's a beautiful lid, chrome lid. The only thing is, is that you guys need to get to the break page, get to those spots, fill the brakes. And once we open the boxes, we're all going to find out what this Joe Thomas is going to look like. Because... This thing is a beautiful, beautiful lid. I agree, Jason. He was a beast, best ever. Craig Joseph, I agree. Uh, Brian Dawkins, Adrian Peterson, Barry Sanders, Brett Favre. He's also speed flex. Don't know what is wrong with this lid. I don't know if there's a scratch, if there's a smudge. Maybe there might be a missing earpiece. I have no idea. Yep. I will know until you guys get to that break page and fill it out. Justin Price, do you have any interest in that Jets lid? We also got Tyreek Hill, Bo Jackson, J.J. Watt on the amp, Nick Bosa, LaDamian Tomlinson, 
and Roger Staubach still out there. So the only ones that got hit is the Jerome Bennis, Aiden Hutchinson, and the Deion Sanders. Wow, that's a lot. Not to mention also our secondary headliners. We've got... Uh, nope, Amon, Amon, Amon St. Barnes, God. We got DK Metcalf, Stern, uh, Sterling Sharp, and Tony Dorsett. Not to mention those hidden gems. Uh, Jason is saying Matt Menace is a Jets fan too. Craig, he might be open to a trade. So there you go, folks. We've got Reggie's personal box called the Touchdown Dance Replica Helmet. So here you go, Reggie. Let's see what you got for your replica. Who are you looking for, Reggie? Who are you looking for? Uh, I'll tell you what. There is a headliner list for these reps. Uh, there's Aiden Hutchinson, Debo Samuel, Emmett Smith, Marshall Falk, Curtis Martin, Devontae Adams, and Jamal Charles are your headliner hits for these reps here. So let's see what you got. Is it a headliner? Unfortunately, it's not a headliner. Ooh. All right. Uh, just cross legendary. So there you go. Nice. There you go. Well, I hope you're a Packer fan, Reggie, because you got Mr. Robert Brooks on the Lunar Green Bay Packers rep. GSA cert. It also comes with the GSA cert card. So there you go, Reggie. Robert Brooks, number 87 from your Green Bay Packers. Yeah, yours, but... Yeah, Robert Brooks, also known as the Shoein, as somebody call him, the former Super Bowl champion with that old Packers team with Brett Flood by Brett Favre and uh, Reggie White, incredible player, a very good player, good on good on great on third down, what is it, two one thousand yard seasons in his career, uh, was always at a ninety nine yard touchdown in nineteen ninety five, which was crazy. I remember seeing that play uh, on replay on NFL Films. So great player, great rep. Love the Lunar Green Bay. Do you guys like Lunar Green Bay? Let me know. Yeah, the Lunar. Yep. I got a Lunar uh, Travis Kelsey. Do you? Yeah. Nice. With the red ink. That's pretty cool. That, that's the best. Yeah. Robert Brooks. Right. Thanks. No problem, Reggie. No problem. Way to go on your Robert Brooks personal hit in the reps. All right, folks. What do you want to get to next? We'll go back to that break page and see what's left out there. Oh, uh, we got black and blue single coming up. All right, black and blue single coming up. That's good. We'll hold off on that top to bottom. Got ourselves a black and blue. You said black and blue single? Number three. All right. Black. Blue. Break. Number two, you said? Yep. Or uh, three. Number three. three. Single. There you go. Just drop me a box for those in this black and blue break number three, not number one. Uh, we're looking for Zachary Wright, Stephen Lopez, Gisela Luster, Marcus Tabbert, Chris Repka, Marcus Tabbert, and William McPherson. All right, Marcus, thank you for your suggestion on box 
three in the black and blue. Four. All right. Ticker is up to date. Uh, Justin Price is coming in saying, is there any way to get a refund for the one in four double since it's not selling? I like to play some breaks like black and blue. Justin Price. Let's see. Where are you at? Uh, well, we can't. Well, yeah, I guess. I forget how the refund works. I'll, I'll, I'll slide. It just goes into a gift card. Yeah. Just, just send it as a gift card. Well, here, let me. Let me... Yeah. It, is he the only one in that double box? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we could definitely refund him. Um, it's. I'm sure it's probably been sitting for a couple of days and it's not moving at all. So. It got it today. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna refund you that um, for the one and four, and then uh, we'll take you out of that one and four, Justin. That way you can get into some black and blues. So we'll definitely do that for you, Justin. Give us a moment. Daniel will send over you a refund gift card. And there you go. So here we go. We got box three, courtesy of Marcus Tabbert. Uh, let's head over to the randomizer and do a little bit of mixing up here. Eight times on that rando. Here we go. We got the list. Zachary, Steven, Gisela, Marcus, Chris, and William. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's that eighth and final dice row. We got William McPherson at the top and Steven Lopez right there on the bottom. And everyone else in between. So here we go. Black and blue break number one. Uh, Jason Santos saying one more in the black and blue double box. I'm sure that one more may no be longer there anymore because I'm sure it's probably sold out. Or no, 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 no. no. All right, one more to go in that black and blue double box. Who wants it? Who is going to be the closer? In the meantime, we've got this black and blue single box. The NFC North, we've got William McPherson. The NFC South, we've got Zachary Wright. The NFC East and the NFC West is Marcus Cabert. Zachary Wright, AFC North. Chris Ripka, the AFC South. AFC East is Gisela Luster, and rounding it out is my familia, Steven Lopez with the AFC West. Tell me that's not your actual family. No. Okay, good, good. No, no. Anybody that has the last name Lopez, I can stir his family, so. All right. Here we go. Box three. Marcus. Does he get... His own box color magic here in the break room. We're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Black and blue. We got ourselves a rep. It's not a headliner. But it is a hidden gem. Wow. I believe it's going to be... Yeah, wow. On a college, Mr. TJ Edwards, that is going to be an NFC North hit because his current team is my Chicago Bears. So there you go. TJ Edwards, that's an NFC North. William McPherson taking home this TJ Edwards on the Wisconsin. It is a rep. Beckett Cert on the back. Way to go, William McPherson. TJ Edwards. Ooh, that hey, that is an amp, right? All my guys in the chat, that's an amp, right? Or is that just how it looks? It's I think that's just how it looks because it's I had I had like one it. just like this oh, okay. and it was just a standard oh, okay. Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's true. Wisconsin does have the W. All right. I but it, it could be a, a flash. It was a. Fl it looks like a flash, but that is beautiful, man. Yeah. That thing. Is that JJ or TJ? TJ Edwards. TJ Edwards. Excuse Edwards. TJ Edwards. From the Chicago Bears. I thought. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm black sure. and blue. Black and blue. Or uh, no. Yeah, black and blue. Point it out if you could. If you if you see anything. Black and blue. Hmm. 
Wow. Again, black and blue, nothing. I don't see nothing on the inside. It does have all its pads. Oh, there we go. Found it. Found it. Found, yep, found, I found it. it. So there's a little mark just above the earpiece right here. Right there. There's a little bit of like a scratch right here. It's on the non-auto side. So if you see, there's it's on the non-auto side. So again, still a terrific lid to display at home with the signature side. Uh, William says, I thought it was a JJ at first. Yep. Looks are deceiving, William. See? Looks are deceiving. Oh, uh, that's a Wisconsin flash, says Craig Joseph. I thought it was a, a Wisconsin flash. But yes, that's the only thing that is wrong with Mr. TJ Edwards is that there's a little scratch mark on the non-auto side, just above the earpiece right here. That's about it. Other than that, it's still a terrific lid. So let's go right up William McPherson. You're closed on that double box, right? And we are closed on that double, so we're gonna get a double coming up here next. Why not? I mean, why not? This is the Chase wheel spin. This is going to be the most popular Chase today for the 3 o'clock show. Definitely. 548. Uh, T.J. Edwards. T.J. Edwards. T.J. Edwards is one of the most underrated tacklers in the entire yeah. league. If you need a guy to bring you to, if you need a guy to take you down to the ground, or you need a guy to take a guy down to the ground, TJ Edwards, outside linebacker, leads the league, will lead the league in tackles possibly this year. We'll see. Yeah, the only thing is, is that he he could, he had a hard time staying healthy this year. Yeah, uh, he was a little bit injured. A lot of the guys that they had picked up in free agency got hurt. Uh, you know, Tremet, Tremaine Edmonds got hurt. Uh, TJ Edwards got hurt. A lot of the people that they had brought uh, over during the offseason just could not stay healthy. So, our big winner in the black and blue single box, William McPherson taking home that TJ Edwards Wisconsin Flash. Let's give him a round of applause, everybody. Coming up next is the is that black and blue double box as soon as daniel gets it up here yeah, to I got, me I got you. we will get to see who is inside that in the meantime let's go ahead and drop that numbers two numbers for uh this double box break here four black and blue double box break number three yep that is number three also all right, there's that message for you folks. And we are looking for Gisela Luster, Zachary Wright, Jason Santos, Chet Williams, Craig Joseph, Chris Ripka, and Jeremiah Greco. Wayne, all right. We are looking for 35. And then Zachary Wright, would you like four or 40? Since Craig Joseph calls, uh, called box 35, you're next in line with either 4 or 40. Oh, man, 40. And Zachary Wright's going to go with 4. All right, so let's go ahead and take those numbers off there in the black and blue. So we're going to take 4 and 35. And 35. Okay. So space, 34, space, 36, 340. All right, so now that is up to date. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't do four. Three was a headliner. All righty, never mind. Craig Joseph, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what Joe, Joe Craig Joseph doesn't know. He's, he's saying three was a headliner. Unless three, unless he was right. He's been watching. Three was a headliner. It don't matter. It don't matter, but we're going to do four. It, it, we got a policy. It don't matter. 
We're going to do four. We're doing four and 35. Four and 35. Let's take this list over to the randomizer and randomize it eight times. Folks. And for what it's worth, Craig Joseph, I put all the headliners in a row. From 1 to 40. <laughs> or from 1 <laughs> he to He says, whatever. just go, was talking to Zach, LOL. One, 1 to 20. 1 to 20. And they're just all right there. Here we go, folks. Eight on the randomizer. Good luck on your divisions. Here we go. Four, five, six. Six. There we go. Seven. And here's that eighth and final. We got Zachary right at the top. And Craig Joseph at the bottom. Everybody else in between. And here we go. Here's Al's list names for the black and blue double box break number three. NFC North is Zachary Wright. The NFC South, Gisela Luster. The NFC East, Jeremiah Greco. The NFC West, Chris Ripka. And the AFC North, Zachary Wright. The AFC South is Chet Williams. And the AFC East is Jason Santos. Rounded it out in the AFC West is Craig Joseph. You destroyed your brakes if you did that. I appreciate the sentiment, though. All right, here we go. Box 35. Let's see what we got in box 35. Who do we have in box 35? Well, nylon bag. Or I should say not a nylon. Yeah, this is nylon. Nylon bag means replica. Ooh. Well, he was on this current team, but he got traded during the offseason to the Cleveland Browns. Who is Mr. Jerry Judy on the Denver Broncos flash rep? And like I just mentioned, this guy just got traded. So Craig Joseph is going to take home Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy on, on Denver. There you go. Judy, of course, uh, offseason went to let me check real quick. I forget where Cleveland Browns. Went to Cleveland. That's yep. right. Went to the Browns. That he is going to be giving J uh, Sean Watson another. Phenomenal weapon. I know. Man. Right on the opposite side of Amari Cooper. Oh, I'm telling you, Cleveland's going to be a team. They are going to be so good, and he's going to be a big part of it. Uh, definitely could be a, th a good third down receiver, if not a long threat. He can do just about anything. And a guy coming out of Alabama, Crimson, former Crimson Tide. I uh, thought he could do well in Denver. He did well enough, but I think they undervalued him a little bit, underused him. Uh, we'll see how it works out in Cleveland. No, I just, I don't think uh, Russell just wasn't able to connect with him. Um, like a lot of people thought they were going to have that connection. They were just, they, they just, I don't think Wilson could ever develop a relationship with any receiver. Other than the receiver that he had with Seattle with Tyler yeah, Lockett, Lockett and, and, and uh, DK Metcalf. Purse, and, yeah. But, like, even with Cortland Sutton, I thought he would have great chemistry with him. Nope. Yeah. Just could not develop any type of relationship with that team. Obviously, you saw the relationship he had with uh, head coach. Yeah. It just. Well, that guy's hard to get along. I mean, he, um, Sean Payton is historically a man that's hard to get along with. Story. But that's what I, I like about Sean Payton. He's old school. And yeah. that's the thing about these new new school kids is like, you know, you cannot you gotta listen to these old uh, the the old school coaches because they know what they're talking about. They've been in the league for you know really all these years. You know, they won, know what they're talking about. I mean he had one Super Bowl. He won who won a Super Bowl. You know, and also was a part of Bounty Gate, but yeah. Box four in the black and blue. Uh, Craig Joseph saying, LOL, three lids so far today. Where is this luck in the diamonds? Hey, I know. Sure, yeah, I know. Where's that luck in the diamonds for you, sir? Here we go. Box four. Juju, Dalvin, This and... is uh, courtesy of Zach Wright. Zachary Wright. Calling box four. 
Bro, so quarterly to Craig Joseph, box three was a headliner. Yes. Box four. I don't know. Uh, could be anything. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. Oh, no way. All right. Another guy that is no longer. I think we're getting teams, <laughs> these players that are no longer with teams. Well, this is the off season. Well, this is the off season. <laughs> what do we say? Who we got? Uh, in the NFC North, Miss uh, Minnesota Vikings. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's Kirk Cousins it on the Minnesota Kirk. Vikings That's... flash. Whoa! What? Let's go. Zachary Wright in the NFC North taking home Mr. Kirk Cousins. Cousins. Yeah, that's a good one. Vikings flash Kirk Cousins rep. Hey, look at the bookends one. That's crazy. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> that's that's two two people back to back that are no longer with these teams anymore. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> this is the off season, of course. What is? Is that what oh the back and blues called? No, no. This oh, is the oh. Just saying, You're yeah. just saying this is the off season, in general. Yeah, yeah. Man. People are moving, going places. That is true. Uh, down in Atlanta, I bet he's gonna be pretty good, considering the fact that he'll have, a, he'll have a lot of weapons that he never could use before. You know. I think we'll see how that goes. Five, four, one. But then again, he did have Jettas in Minnesota. I don't know, Crenshaw or Joseph, one of you guys is an Atlanta fan, right? What do you think about Kirk Cousins? All right. Anything wrong with this? This is a Fanatics cert. And honestly, I don't see anything wrong with this other than I bet you probably it's because they're no longer with this team anymore. I bet. Yeah, I, I would say. I would say. Um... Okay, there's a small, I see it right now. There's a small, little, small uh, dot speck. I don't know how you want it. There you go, you can see it now. That little small speck right there. Again, something very minor. But other than that, it is a phenomenal lid, Kirk Cousins. So there you go, Zachary. Zachary. William saying old team probably. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, that's what I was thinking. Probably. Same thing with the Jerry Judy, because I didn't see anything wrong with that lid too. But just to take another look, because yeah. Here's the Jerry Judy. That's a, a the modern Broncos flash, I believe. No, no, is that this is a, that's standard rep? Yep, that's the standard one. I think, it's I think the only thing, I mean, it has a bubble in the sticker right here, but that's easy that you could take out. All you gotta do is just take a dryer or like a hair dryer, heat this up a little bit for about five seconds and then s smooth it out. Other than that, it's a very fina very good looking helmet for a rep. Yeah, that's it. That's the only thing that's wrong. You can see the bubble right there. Yeah. That's basically, that's wrong. That was it with the Jerry Judy. Just a bubble in the top of the sticker on the non-auto side. Really easy to fix. All you gotta do is take a dryer, hair dryer to it, and uh, smooth it out. And there you go. You got a brand new Jerry Judy rep. So, all right. Our two big winners in that black and blue double box break number three Zachary Wright with the Kirk Cousins Flash Minnesota Vikings and Craig Joseph with the Denver Broncos Flash Jerry Judy. 
Let's give him a round of applause, everybody. And that is going to be it for that break. Let's head over to the break page. Uh, we are about uh, 10 minutes to 5. So we'll see right now what we are close to filling up. If we can get these breaks closer to closing up, we'll do those breaks. If not, we'll head to the chase wheel spin and do the chase wheel spin. At We'll do the chase wheel spin in 5 minutes. So at five. Uh, 455 we'll go ahead and do the chase wheel spin if nothing is filled between now and five o'clock we'll go ahead and jump off get everything preset for you guys for the six o'clock show which again will be uh ronnie is going to be here not ronnie joe is going to be here i got my names all mixed up right now joe's going to be here i believe daniel will be here daniel are you here tonight Daniel's all busy working right now. But Joe will be here at 6 o'clock for that 6 p.m. show. And hopefully you guys will have some pre-fills for him at that 6 o'clock show. So, let's do a quick refresh of the break page. And turn the randomizer on. Here is that break page, ladies and gentlemen. As we scroll down, we are now seven spots to go in that double box break, black and blue. We are six spots to go in this double box break for the baseball bats. Let me scroll back up here to the black and blue. Let you guys get an idea of what is available in the black and blue. The Justin Jefferson Speed Flex is out there. Hydro. Joe Thomas, also a Speed Flex. And we're looking for the Brett Favre Speed Flex. Couple opportunities here in that NFC North have a chance at taking both speed flexes, the Brett Favre and the Justin Jefferson, along with that Barry Sanders and Adrian Peterson. We did hit on that Aiden Hutchinson earlier in the show. So some amazing opportunities in that NFC North to kind of triple up or quadruple up in that NFC North division. Some other notable mentions, we've got the Brian Dawkins, the Nick Bosa, that J.J. Watt, Wisconsin, Flash, the Bo Jackson, Tyreek Hill, the LaDamian Tomlinson, and Roger Staubach, still out there in the black and blues. We also have some secondaries to get to talk about, like D.K. Metcalf, Sterling Sharp, and Tony Dorsett, not to mention the hidden gems in that and more section. For the baseball bats, ladies and gentlemen, these are what's left as for headliners. Julio Rodriguez, Ailey H uh, Rutschman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Aaron Judge, Deion Sanders, Fernando Tatis Jr., Yondon uh, Alvarez, and Ronald Acuna, along with Barry Larkin. And some secondary headliners like Torrey Hunter, Eric Gagne, and those hidden gems in the end more section. 112 for a double box, and we have it for $56 in the single box, where it's only five away in the single box. Six to go in this double box break, Diamonds. It's been sitting here for six spots since the 12 o'clock show. I know there's a couple people in there that would love to get some company in this double diamond box. Uh, let's get to the break page and see about maybe possibly filling this up before 5 o'clock. If not, uh, this is something that will probably get uh, pushed towards the 6 o'clock show. Are you here at the 6 o'clock or no? no? No. Okay. Who's coming in? Oh, I don't know. It's um, Dom? Dom and Joe. So it's Dom and Joe that's going to be here for 6 o'clock. And we are three spots to go in this one and four. It is a four-spot break. So that means we only need three people to hop in this double box one and four. Um, actually, I take that back. Um, no, I know that was the that was the uh, black and blue he was in. So never mind. This is at three. It also is three away in the single box, with one thirty the price for a spot and two sixty for the double box. Five spots to go in the black and blue single for fifty nine dollars if the double box price is a little bit out of your reach. For the jerseys, six spots to go 
for $27. We are still looking for that one last box in this. After that, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a brand new jersey coming up right after this. Seven to go in the diamond single box for $87. You can get your chance at a headline like Mr. Randy Moss, Jared Goff, Adrian Peterson, and Tony Gonzalez, along with Deion Sanders on the Cowboys. So you got five headliners photo, not to mention the secondary headliners like A.J. Brown, Anthony Richardson, and Jordy Nelson. The NFC North is going to be the hit for these diamonds. There are five chances at at an NFC. Yeah. Randy Moss, Adrian Peterson, Jared Goff, and now Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson. Wow. Four chances at a headliner coming out in that NFC North. Eight to go in the minis. We are still looking for headliners like Jordan Anderson. On the, where are you at, Jordan Anderson? Jordan Addison. Jordan Addison, where, is he even on here? Oh, there he is, the Flash. Do you think he's going to say something back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where are you at? But yeah, Jordan Anderson on the Flash Mini. We also got the Earl Campbell on the Retro Houston Oilers and A.J. Brown on that flat white uh, mini lid with the green ink on that thing. It is beautiful. We're also looking for a secondary hit in Chris Johnson. Not to mention the hidden gems coming out in the minis. So that is your top to bottom rundown for the break page. So much to get into. I don't think we are nearly as close as I would like to see other than the three spots away in that one and four uh, three spots to go next in that black and blue series. Six to go, seven to go, and then eight to go. So the only thing that's closest is that black and blue single box with three spots to go. Uh, if that gets filled in the meantime while we go ahead and do this chase wheel spin, we will go ahead and do that. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and take this list of names that bought into the black and blue. Except for if anybody is interested in that, what was it? Uh, the black and blue single. If anybody is interested in this black and blue single, three spots to close it out. I'll give you guys till five o'clock to close it out so that way you guys get added to the chase wheel spin. If not, we'll go ahead and do the chase wheel spin. And then let this black and blue single box be a pre-fill for the 6 o'clock show. So if anybody could close it out, three spots to go in the next five minutes. I'll, I'll, I'll extend it till 5.05. 5.05. You got to, that time to close out this single box black and blue. Yeah. Oh. You said yeah. You said, yeah, yeah, like, yeah like, oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I thought they did. Like, they did close it in out. Excitement. <laughs> yeah, in excitement. Yeah, in excitement. No, in excitement. <laughs> Where is that box at? Which one? The Kirk Cousins. There it is. Oh. It's the last time you'll see seen a tumbleweed. Who? No, when is the last time you've seen a tumbleweed? You ever seen a tumbleweed before? You know, like those things that like go Oh, through? yeah. I haven't seen one in a long time. Yeah. It's Sorry. been a long time. I was on my mind, guys. He says, do they even exist? Do they even exist. All right. But, yeah, we are... Uh, are there any personals to open? They are not. There is not. There is not. No personals. No personals. The only personal we had was Regimel, who got the Robert Brooks Lunar Eclipse Green Bay Packers. Mm. That was it. So... 505, anybody want to close out that last single box in the black and blue so that way you guys get added to the chase wheel spin? If not, you guys will have a chance to fill it for the 6 o'clock crew, and then we'll go ahead and take this list of names that did get into the black and blue 
during the three o'clock show. We'll take this list over to the randomizer. After eight spins, top spot, we'll head to the chase wheel spin. Other than that, we had a phenomenal, I think a phenomenal three o'clock show. We had a good afternoon. We did. We had Joe Montana on the Kansas City and Aiden Hutchinson as a uh, headliner hit in the black and blue. blue. No, that was practice squad. Black think. and blue. Oh, no, practice black and blue? Squad. Okay. Yeah. Chiefs? I haven't seen a lot of Chiefs full authentic. No. Uh, Montana. Nope. Very happy. He's been recently uh, in the in the room with some full size. But for San Francisco. Now no, I'm saying uh, in, in Kansas City. Really? Yeah, because when I was working in production, we were unboxing a lot of them. A lot of the Kansas City, Joe Montana, so. Nice. We're starting to get some in there. So, how's everybody doing on this glorious Saturday afternoon? We are at the top of the hour, 5 o'clock, just rolled around. How's everybody doing? I'm your host. Let's go ahead and take this off so they know who I am. There we go. What's going on, everybody? It's 5 o'clock. I'm your host, Robbie Headliner Lopez, as always. as Not as always, I should say, but my fill-in for today, because Brandon's birthday is this weekend, so he took the day off is Daniel Farrell. He's filling in for Brandon. So thank you, Brandon. Or thank you, Daniel, for filling in for Brandon. <laughs> it's all good. And uh, wheel spin, William says. Yes, we wheel will spin. get to the wheel spin there, William. I'm giving these guys an opportunity to fill this last black and blue with only three spots to go. So give it some time, William. I don't know if you're in a hurry, but I'm not in no hurry. I'm, I'm hey. I'm here to break boxes and, you know, reveal some awesome memorabilia to you guys. So, oh, thought you were saying bye. Sorry. Oh, no, we're not saying bye. I'm just saying some of the hits for uh, the 3 o'clock show. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job today. Uh, Daniel. Yeah. Filling in for Brandon today. Yeah. And uh, coming up next after us is going to be Joe and Dom. Which, there's Dom right now. He just came hey, into the room. Dom. So, three more minutes if those people want to fill the last black and blue with three spots to go. If not, we'll go ahead and do that chase wheel spin and then hop off. Black and, and blue then, single. That's what I said. Black and blue single. It's closed. Oh, it's closed. Oh, okay. So, it did close. It did. Yes, it did. There it is right there. Sold out. All right. So, we will get to this list. And then grab those people that got into that black and blue for the chase wheel spin. Which is, uh, let's see, what's that? 56 plus this single box. We'll take it to 62. Hey, Robbie. What's up? You think um, when the turtles and the octopus and the sharks and the fish all get together down in the ocean, they talk about current events? Huh, all the time. Okay. Good. They always follow the current. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> keep it sharp. Keep it sharp. There we go. Keep it smart. Got to keep it sharp. All right. All right, we got Rudy Whalen, Jeremiah Greco, Zachary Wright, Reggie, and Michael in this black and blue single break number four. Wait for the message, then go ahead and drop me a box number for this black and blue uh, single break number four. I can't believe we already did four of these. So there you guys go. Drop me a box number. They are scrolling across your screen right about now. Five, seven through nine, 11, 13 through 16, 18 through 20, 22 through 25. And I don't need to see the rest because Zachary wants box 11. That is good to go. And let's see, he is getting the box number, so we're going to go ahead and copy this list of names over to the rando. Oh, hey. Gotcha. Sorry. This flipped over. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. All right. 
Here's the list of names. Rudy, Rudy. Jeremiah, Zachary, Reggie, and Michael. Eight times on the rando. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Six, seven, and here comes that eighth and final time. Michael at the top and Jeremiah at the bottom. Everybody else is in between. And uh, here is those names for the black and blue break number four. The NFC North is going to Michael. The NFC South is going to Rudy. The NFC East is going to Zachary. The NFC West is going to Reggie. The AFC North is Michael. The AFC South is Jeremiah. The AFC East is Zachary, and rounded it out in the AFC West is Jeremiah. All right, folks, box 11, courtesy of Zachary Wright. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we have for the final black and blue single box, break number four for the 3 o'clock show. Let's make it a good one. It is authentic. We do have a cloth bag. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Not a headliner, not a secondary headliner. Okay. Defensive for your Philadelphia Eagles, Darius Slay. Oh, yeah. There you go. On the Lunar. Big play Slay. Beckett Cert. Let's see what is wrong with this bad boy now. Right there. Boom. The logo, there's a little scratch mark right here. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but that is basically the only thing that's wrong with it is there's a little mark right there on that logo. It is on the auto side, but again, something that's very fixable because you can replace these stickers if you know someone that could do it right could replace the sticker for you for real cheap so that is the only thing that's wrong with it and that is an nfc east hit zachary wright congratulations on the last black and blue single break number four taking home darius slay on the eagles lunar Darius Slay. Way to go. Big play Slay. Wow. What a good show. What a good show we had. Don't need fix. Look good the way it is. I there know. you go. Huh? Don't need is a... that an authentic? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Authentic. I like it. There you go. Yes, it will. It will. What's that? The oh, Lou? It'll, it'll roll, yes. Yes. The Lou, it will roll over to the 6 p.m. show. So, Zachary... They all do. They all roll. All the breaks roll over. They do. Uh, one, seven, eight. Five, five, three. Darius Slay. All right. We'll go ahead and put Mr. Darius Slay back in his bag. I think he lives there full time. Huh? Right. It's a nice, what is that, an eclipse? Lunar. Lunar. That's right. I get those mixed up. All Lunar time. eclipse. Lunar's white, eclipse is black. Oh, that's right. I don't pull them. I just, I just take the orders. So the, and then the ones that look like eclipse, because sometimes some are flat black that look like eclipse. All right, that is it for that black and blue single box break number oh, four. Our that. big winner, Zachary Wright, taking that Darius Slay Lunar. Now, let's head over to this Chase Wheel Spin now. Get that green lighted. Gotcha. And uh, I just added something, so I would. 64. Is it 60? You got 64 in there? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. All right, we're good. Yeah. 56? Yes. Yeah, we're good. All right. Now we're going to do the chase wheel spin. So thank you all those that got into the black and blue series. All 64 of you folks, all the way from Marcus Tabbert down to Michael. Uh, 
Otto Rando, if that's your last name. I think it is. It's Lou. Lou. It's, <laughs> but it's Michael here. So, um, Eight spins. Top spot heads over to the chase wheel spin. Good luck, everybody. Let's get that going. There's one. Here's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's the last and final dice roll. Zachary writes, no. you are headed to the chase wheel spin. Congratulations, sir. Here we go, Zachary Wright. We started at one. Do you have a number really quick to choose from? If not, we'll start it at one. And whatever you land on will be the, the dollar amount of a gift card. So, Zachary Wright, if you're still out there, drop me a, a number of where you want this to start at. If not, we'll start it at one and we'll run it. Started at 11, he said. Okay. William says, uh, we could not see nice hot Zach. Oh, a nice hit. <laughs> All right, so there's 11. Uh, here we go. Good luck. Ba -dum -ba -ba. Ooh. Oh. Started at 11 and landed on 12. That's That means it would have been a 99. Or it would have been a, <laughs> would have been a 1. <laughs> well, you got $12. That's more than 10. You got $12. Yeah. That qualifies. Probably would have been different if it it started at one. We did not see it, said William. <laughs> oh my oh, god, dude. Rito! Hey, that's alright. That's my fault. Let's go we'll redo it again. We'll go ahead we and redo it again. We can redo that, yeah. That was my fault, so I'll deactivate. We'll do it. We'll redo it. We'll redo it. Joe, what's oh going on, Joe? Alright. You're right. Here you go, Zachary. We're gonna redo that for you. Here's eleven. Here you go. That was my mistake. So, sixty-eight dollars. Oh, so sixty-eight. There you go. Instead of twelve, we'll give you sixty-eight because I didn't turn the randomizer on. Nice job. So there we go. Now the randomizer's off. We are all set to go. Sometimes the wheel's cool. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in to the twelve o'clock show. And the 3 o'clock show, as always, your host for the Saturday show, Robbie Headliner Lopez. And for my fill-in for today, Daniel Farrell, as I like to call him now, Danny Dimes now. Danny yeah. Dimes, Daniel Farrell, is his Danny new Dimes. nickname here. In also, the break room. nickname also shared by Daniel Jones. So Daniel be, Jones, be, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, quality player, really. My well, it was a pleasure having you as a producer, Danny. Anytime. And Daniel... Everybody, coming up next, we've got Joe and Dominic coming up here at 6 o'clock. So if you are in the breaks, don't worry. You're not going to lose your spot. It will be carried over to the 6 o'clock show. And then for those that are just trying to get into those breaks, get in there right now. Let's get those pre-fills uh, filled for Joe and Dominic. And then hopefully they'll have a good show. Until then, have a great Saturday evening, everybody. Until then, I'll see you guys right back here Every Saturday, 12, 3 o'clock Central Standard Time, right here in Burridge, Illinois. I'll see you guys Monday night with Common. When are you back in here? Sunday? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow on Easter is Daniel. So come back and visit Daniel tomorrow on Easter. Have a wonderful Easter, everybody. Until then, have a blessed, blessed weekend. And we'll see you guys on the other side. Take care.